Welcome back to Corbin AI, where we do daily artificial intelligence videos for your personal and business life. And a big question I've been getting in the last couple of days is how do we start using Twitter's new API for Zapier and other automation platforms? So we're going to go ahead and answer that question today. Now, I will point out this video was a little frustrating to make as I was trying to set up natively with Twitter's API here with its new documentation. I was going through the processes of essentially everything outlined here and trying to set this up as a webhook uh, and essentially authorize because right now, essentially, with Twitter's API, come down here with the free access, you know, it gives us the ability to create tweets, delete tweets, and then look up users. But I was running into some major issues where essentially I was entering everything incorrectly and it just wasn't authorizing my execution. And I looked further into the documentation. And I realized that right now for Zapier, at least when you create an app to access Twitter's API, um, essentially you, they don't have a redirect URL or URL that works in that context. And then I was like, okay, great. So then I looked into make and supposedly make has the ability to do this with their backend, which is a little bit more uh, complex. This is all being said because I'm going to show you a really simple solution to all this. So kind of a workaround where we're not necessarily accessing Twitter's API directly and using a webhook. We're going to be using a different app to do the same thing. Now, the app we're going to be using to work around Twitter's API right now is going to be Buffer. I wanted to give you that little disclaimer in the beginning as some people in the comments and some people in the future may be reaching out saying, well, I don't necessarily want to use Buffer. Uh, I want to use directly the API of Twitter as of now. It doesn't look like it's possible to do a automation using the direct API of Twitter. When we are able to do that, I'm going to show you the entire process. It just seems like, you know, it's not possible right now. So we're going to go ahead and use Buffer. What's great about Buffer, though, essentially, is that you can use a free plan and do what I'm about to show you. On top of that, uh, this platform in itself is just a social media scheduler. So think of like another platform like later. So we're going to go ahead and use this. Go ahead and sign up. Free account. You don't need to uh, put down a credit card. Nothing. Let's go ahead and jump into their backend real quick. So as you see here, I went ahead and tested it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I was in Twitter's API documentation for like two plus hours. I was, it was a whole shabam. Um, from here though, essentially, I went ahead and tested it to make sure this works for this video. And, and luckily it does work for this video. So we have no problems there. But once you log into your account here, all you need to do is add a new channel. As you see here, I already have my channel here. Essentially, you would just add the underlying social media channel. So for your context, you would just connect Twitter simply log in and now that we have it connected here we can go ahead and jump back over to zapier and build out our flow we're back over in zapier here let's go ahead and create a new zap obviously make sure you connect your buffer account here that's just a simple api key integration by simply going to zapier is my apps and so on but let's just go ahead and show it working so we're going to do schedule and by zapier here and i want to point out as well you might be asking yourself why did zapier do this or why do all these automation platforms like make as well do this um, the reason they did this is because of the fact that in order for them to get access to the api key at scale they would have had it done the pricing uh, at an enterprise enterprise level so what i mean by that essentially uh, is if you come down here they would have to chose this plan and from what i gathered essentially whatever uh twitter was telling them the price was they probably did a cost benefit analysis and realized you know what Let's not actually do this. This is too much money. We're just going to deprecate the API. Uh, from here, though, what we can do is do midnight or any time of day because essentially all we need to know how to do essentially is just how to create a tweet. And then we're going to be using from here on out. If you want to make Twitter posts, it is going to be buffer. So let's just type in buffer here. And then we're going to do an event of add to queue. So the way their, their API works essentially is like if you were like scheduling posts, so maybe like Tuesday, every Tuesday, Wednesday, you want to, you know, do a buffer post or some type of schedule content creation. For us though, we don't have to do a campaign. Uh, we can go ahead and choose our channel here, which is gonna be your Twitter account. And then we can go ahead and say, this tweet was made with a buffer API call. And then we can go ahead and put an exclamation mark here. Uh, and we can do media. So you can go ahead and have the option to add media as well. And one thing I wanna point out as well is like, it's almost maybe a good thing that it doesn't necessarily get access to the API just yet due to the fact that hey, it was going to be a pretty complex tutorial. So this is a lot simpler, right? Um, so add a queue, schedule posts, share next, share now. Um, so you have all these different options here. Uh, you can you know schedule the post for now. We're just going to shoot it off right away. One thing I want to point out though, which could be helpful for anyone that plans on using Buffer uh, in the near term is for schedule posts, you want to use layman. You can use layman terminology here. So I can say 
seven days from now, stuff of this matter one minute from now. Uh, and that could be helpful for anyone that decides to schedule tweets in that context. For now, we're just going to go ahead and say share now. And we can go ahead and remove that extra field. We're going to continue here. And let's test this step. And there you go. We went ahead and got our tweet there. We could have added media as well. Go ahead and follow us here on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and like this tweet. Let me know you're following me here at Webcafe AI or Corbin AI. Either one works. Um, yeah, this was a, a quick workaround, quick troubleshoot. I know a lot of people have been have requesting this and asking in the comments how to do this because of what's occurring right now. So in the near term or medium term, at least, this is going to be your workaround when still trying to access Twitter, still trying to do stuff with Twitter, because in this context, it seems like Buffer is, you know, biting the bullet here and paying the enterprise for the API with Twitter here. So this is going to be a workaround. And what's great about it is it's completely free. So go ahead and use this as you will. Now we're able to post with Zapier on Twitter with its new API situation. There we go. So that was a quick troubleshoot and workaround. When we have the ability to do webhooks and access uh, Twitter's API directly, I'll go ahead and make a video on that. For now, this seems like it works fine. Make sure to subscribe for daily artificial intelligence and automation content. Uh, from here though, I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end of this video, kind of showcasing other softwares that you could use in your business. So you're gonna check that out. We do bot press, voice flow, and so on. Um, but without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.